Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good morning everybody. Uh, welcome to uh, another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com uh, weekend update show. Hope everybody is uh, having a wonderful life, uh, health, happiness, most important health and happiness, uh, everything else again, especially if you new traders out there, um, you know, trying to chase, uh, you know, the wealth and the money and all that stuff. And again, the, the quickest piece of advice, especially for the newer trader. Again, I, I'm a much different human being at 45 than I was at 25. And, you know, it, it's it's really amazing that if you are just trying to chase the dollar, okay, uh, it's like trying to um, build a house from the roof to the foundation. It just doesn't work that way. Uh, again, whatever process you trade, and I, I've been saying this for years, uh, again, make sure that you know all the ins and outs of it, all the moving parts, and you don't need to chase the money. You don't need to chase the dreams and the wealth and all that good stuff. All you need to do is trust the process, embrace the process, and wait for it to confirm, and the money comes organically. So again, just take a step back. I know I know a lot of new traders because, again, uh, social media has sensationalized uh, what this business is basically not. Uh, a lot of you guys are, you know, falling for it because that's human nature, right? That's 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 the you know that's the really the biggest case of fear of missing out and when your dreams uh, don't materialize in the first six months you think you're a failure it's just simply not true it's a very very tough business it's a very long road uh, ahead for you guys especially in the first three years and, I, and I've been saying this uh, non-stop the nausea it, it's crucial how you uh, start your first three years of your career because again if you are digesting wrong information you're going backwards it's just it's just the reality you are going backwards and unfortunately people go through so much uh, in the beginning and they they really embrace the wrong information that it, it may never tap into their potential because again unfortunately by the time your your time is up and the hourglass goes to goes down to the floor, uh, you haven't achieved anything because again, you're kind of going backwards. So it's very, very important. However, you're trading guys, don't chase the materialistic things. Okay. You know, if you, if that's your thing, that's your thing, but don't chase them. Trust the process, the materialistic stuff. Again, if you're, for your choosing, uh, comes, uh, comes naturally, just like any other, just like any other business, any other job. So just stay focused, stay focused, believe, and again, most important part, screen time, uh, and all the good stuff follows as well. So my time's a little bit, a uh, little bit, um, a little bit uh, constrained this morning. Uh, I have two soccer games and a softball game before three o'clock. So I've literally, so I'm going to cut this a little short, but kind of get into the meat and potatoes of what we are, uh, what we just did, and what we think is going to happen um, going into this week. Um, I. I is very very little complaints uh, about this past trading week, especially you guys uh, in the live webinar. You kind of you kind of saw uh, what the difference between having a really really good summer and a really really good September. And again, the summer for the most part, the summertime was pretty solid. Uh, again, you, you did have um, you did have spurts that. Uh, you had a very aggressive day and then you had like maybe two quiet days and then you had an aggressive day. And because again, people were on vacation. Again, if you've been watching this, uh, if watching this, um, uh, broadcast for, for, you know, for the last, even the last three, four months, you kind of saw, uh, my whole stance. I, a lot of people were on vacation. A lot of people that are, are handling a lot of money did not put their money in rest. And that's why you saw a lot of days that were just very, very thin and contracting ranges. Now that everybody's back, uh, after Labor Day, you could see the difference in the market and really no complaints this week at all. Um, very, very solid week. What I liked about uh, this week's trading, again, number one, we had that big move uh, coming out of this channel last week. Uh, we successfully tested not only the 50, but we claimed the five and we went back to the top of the channel. And again, for Thursday night, obviously everybody in the Twitter feed and the live webinar kind of knew. Uh, I thought the indexes were going to back test uh, into Friday session, just again, it's just basic technical analysis. Anytime you see an inverted hammer, right? It's a complete opposite of a hammer. Anytime you see an inverted hammer, that's just kind of a short-term top. And again, I don't mean macro top. I mean, just literally, uh, you know, a, an area that the market could digest uh, and have a light back test into rising support. That's exactly what we did for Friday session. Uh, we had 
pretty good action. I was one and done on Friday. I traded Netflix and that's it. I was just way too tired. That's all I needed. Uh, but what I liked, what I liked, what I saw this whole week was the stocks that confirmed. I mean, this, especially the stocks that, I, that, that we follow all the time. The Teslas had a big, big run. The Boeing had a monster run. Uh, Netflix, uh, two, a, two a trader, great trader, BYND, Roku, uh, Square, all those names that we follow once they confirmed and Apple on Friday as well. Once they confirmed, it was pretty seamless. There wasn't a lot of hiccups. And that was a very, very important part of what you want when you are putting your money in the middle of the table. Because again, if you are in a process that is constantly uh, looking like an EKG machine, up and down, up and down, up and down, it's very, very hard to uh, to really embrace risk. And again, this whole business is all about process and embracing, embracing risk. So what I liked about what I saw this week, uh, great volume, okay, very, very good volume. Um, liquidity for the most part was very, very good. Okay. Um, and the, the measured potential, and that's a very, very important part of trading, especially for your new folks to have a smaller account, you know, it, it's, it's much easier for you to trade, for example, like a, like a Tesla that we saw the whole week going from a 232 base for a measured potential of 247, especially if you're trading on the option side, you can get a, you know, you can get a, a much better bang for your buck. Then trading, for example, like a Roku that's emotionally charged and there's dip buyers and there's sellers and all over the place. And it's a very, very sexy trade, but it's a very, very crowded trade. So that element is important as well. So I, I like that aspect. Um, I liked how the bulls uh, defended areas uh, of support on different uh, areas of uh, support this week. That was very, very important. But the most important part is uh, I, I, I still like the fact that... Um, Bulls are willing to almost numb the headlines. So whatever drove the market, for example, down here in the headlines of, well, this pessimism of a deal getting done with China is the same headline that drove the market up this week, right? Uh, and to uh, optimism of Brexit, optimism of a China deal, and nothing has materialistically um, kind of shown itself. So it's, it's almost like to the point of, traders are getting numb to all this news. And, and that's a good thing. That's a really, really good thing. Um, it's like, you know, it, it's like living with a, a kind of a disability, right? And again, it's only a disability. It's only handicapped in your mind. Once you start living it and embracing what, unfortunately, uh, what you have in front of you, it, it's not that bad, right? It's not that bad. Maybe that's not the best uh, example in the world. But again, no news is good news. And if you have recycled news over and over again, and traders are willing to embrace that news. It's a very, very uh, powerful market. So uh, going into uh, this week, again, look, look, can we back test again and test these levels? Look, we could. There's no fear. Okay. Uh, there is no fear in this tape uh, until, until we demonstrate that we don't want the bid up stocks. When I say mean the macro market, um, then you start to worry. Uh, any close below 189 is where uh, the breakout occurred, 189.60s on the queues. That's when you start to worry. Any back test, again, that started from Thursday's kind of mini blow off top. Again, I don't really use that word, but uh, mini back test area, this inverted uh, inverted hammer. Uh, you know, can you get a back test back to this 89, 90 area? Sure you can, but again, it's very, very important to not to jump the gun and think the market's going back down uh, hell in a handbasket. Very, very good uh, liquidity, a uh, very good action. Uh, indexes, you know, about 1% gains, 1.5% gains all across the board. Uh, very, very bullish. Even on back days, nobody even, even noticed it. But the most important part is I love the rotation in beta. Again, I can only speak for, for myself because I trade beta. Uh, I don't know what's going on in the rest of the market. Don't care. If there's a 900% there's a, a move on a $2 stock, it doesn't affect me. I don't look at it. If there's a stock uh, that's up 75 days in a row that I don't know anything about. It doesn't concern me. I'm in my little bubble. That's my niche. That's my lane. I don't go out of my lane. I don't go out of my comfort zone. And once you have, um, you know, once you have a relationship with a group of names that, again, they they are a tribe. These beta names are a tribe. If one is strong, they're pretty much going to be all strong. If one is weak, they're pretty much going to be all weak. So you can you can demonstrate measured potential without even putting on a trade because, again, they trade in a group. And what I love, it was a great rotation this week. We had uh, monster moves in Tesla, monster moves in Boeing, right? These are all names that we've been covering, you know, monster names in Boeing. Roku is a beast both ways, long and short. Uh, even BYND, you know, this damn thing woke up and, you know, now it's testing the upper level here, which I didn't put this on our, on our, on our watch list for 
uh, for this week. But, you know, kind of looking at it and, you know, I think Monday could be a pretty interesting day. Uh, I traded this thing pretty decently. What was it? On Wednesday or Thursday. We caught a really, really good move on it. I think it was a Wednesday. Uh, but it's kind of getting into a, a really interesting area. If it could reclaim this like 10-day moving average, again, you could see the measure, measure potential back to 68. Again, big if, right? But if you could do so. So you, you kind of like what you saw, even Netflix. Um, here was my, you know, here was my trade. And again, if you if you are most traders, in my opinion, they trade off daily charts. So if you look at a daily chart on Netflix, you probably say, well, why would you why would you even even buy a stock with this? Or why would you even even pay attention to this? You know, I could see the bottom channel, but why would you even look at it for Friday? And again, that's the whole point of sneaky pivots. That's the whole point of channels, uh, channels within channels showing you strength and weakness. That's what we do. Um, and the most important part is, I like the way. Uh, stocks are setting up into next week. You have longs, you have shorts, and you have everything in between. So again, uh, we're not bulls, we're not bears, we're just opportunists and waiting for confirmations on both sides. Uh, again, if you look at Friday's session, uh, again, you know, very good stuff. Uh, here is, you know, again, here is my, you know, here's my point. Here's my only trade of the day on Friday. I was, I've had a pretty decent week. Um, that's all you need. All you need is one good one. Uh, Netflix, uh, you can see this, this was at the, uh, you know, pre-market, um, Netflix upgraded $440 price target. Key level here is $393. As you can see, it keeps on getting rejected there. And again, if you look at the daily chart, and again, this is my point that you know we don't trade from daily chart. We don't need a daily chart uh, to make sure there's there's uh, actionable uh, potential in trade. Again, if you look at this channel, there's nothing that stands out for you. But if you look at the 60-minute view from Friday, right, and this is kind of what we saw. This is kind of what we posted on the Twitter feed. You can see three areas where it got rejected into supply, right? 293, 293, 293. And once it started building over 293, you had that measure potential to 297. And again, why is 297? Again, stocks trade from channel to channel to channel. And if you look at the high from Friday, it was uh, the high was uh, 296.62. So again, measure potential is very, very important. Again, here's the 293 candle. I bought it, had a really, really nice trade. So I'm very, very... Uh, I'm very, very pleased. And for me, I was already done. I was just burnt out already from the week, but uh, pretty happy about it again. And you could see how Netflix has the next measured potential. Again, if it starts reclaiming this channel, look how much room you have here, right? You have room to 305. And if it starts reclaiming 305, you have a potential move to 312. So uh, Netflix, really, really good trade. Uh, ULTA uh, didn't trigger. I still like it there. Uh, Tesla, I'm watching from both sides. Uh, you can see Tesla's 60-minute chart. Again, this kind of mirrored uh, the, the QQQ move, you got a blow off top here. And now you can see that the channel, how tight it's getting. You can see that the bottom of the channel here, the tight of the, the top of the channel here. And again, you don't need to buy the highs. That's not where we're looking to, you know, you're not looking to chase momentum. You're looking to buy a channel that's confirming that turns into momentum. So here's the top of the channel here, or the middle channel, as we call the meat of the trade. Here's the bottom channel. Something's going to give this week. Okay, something's going to give. And I think I, we'll have a really good trade on both sides. Uh, Square again. Here's you know here's the pre market uh, pre market analysis uh, 5765. If it confirms, should resume yesterday's sell off. And here was Square, right? Here was Square. Here was uh, 5765 right here. You can see it 5765 went all the way down uh, to 5590s. Uh, square, 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 square. Uh, Apple, right? Apple again. Goldman Sachs downgrade. Uh, 220 is a big level. Needs a strong build lower. For more uh, selling, uh, I thought if you look at my my notes going back to the upside, uh, back to um, the area, I, I felt that 218 is strong support for Apple. Uh, it had a measure potential to get there. Why did I think uh, 218 was the measure potential? Well, because again, if you look at Apple's daily chart, and this is how you measure uh, potential. Uh, when you look at Apple's daily chart, you can see the rising five uh, five day support is 218. So uh, you know here was the here was the pivot, right? Here was the pivot. This 220 and went right down. It actually went down to 217. But uh, again, big big move. Again, I didn't take it. Uh, I was just already done after Netflix. I was pretty pleased. I was waiting uh, to get into the weekend. But again, again, the greatest thing about these pivots, nobody needs to hold your hand. They're either going to confirm and go either with or without you. So again, it's all about organic order flow, and nobody needs to tell you when to jump. It's all about technical analysis. Uh, INMD uh, 28 has been rejected several times, needs to build. Here is the INMD. Again, you don't need to trade Tesla. You don't need to trade Apple. You can trade any of the stocks. A pivot is a pivot of a pivot. You can see here it got rejected 28, 28 uh, went as high as 29 and a quarter. Um, 
Let me see here what else we got. Let me see what else we had. Uh, Snapchat. I kind of like Snapchat. Um, I kind of like, like Snapchat over the weekend here. Uh, Snapchat, uh, any close over 16 is bullish. A buyer comes in. I bought 5,400 of this week's, not in the September 20, 1650 calls. Uh, if you look at Snapchat's chart, it's actually a nice looking chart. First close over 16. Again, here's the 1650 measured potential. Again, it doesn't seem like a big move, but Snap. Uh, is a stock that you could trade a lot more size because it's very, very uh, liquid. Again, if it starts reclaiming Friday's action, you could see an move, initial move to 1650. Uh, so that was fine as well for all you guys who, well, we'll see how that turns out, but that's a good looking chart. Uh, I think that's it. I think that's it. So it was a pretty, a pretty solid week. Uh, no complaints. Um, I, I think going into this week, again, we'll have some uh, good opportunities on both sides. Um, the key... Uh, the key to this week, in my opinion, is, again, the bulls need to uh, continue to live with prosperity. I think that's the most important key. Um, I think any signs of weakness, if it actually gets, if any type of weakness actually starts to magnify, then you have a, a whole ugly scenario of the cues possibly going back into this range. But again, we don't want to put the cart in front of the, in front of the horse. We want to make sure we have plenty of value on both sides. So let me give you guys some ideas uh, going into this week. Um, so I, I like ULTA. I, I think this is just a matter of time. You can see it held this bottom channel here at 225 several times. Um, I think if it starts building below 225, you know, you can see the measure of potential. Uh, it happens there. Um, I like Netflix. Um, you know, I my, my favorite two stocks to trade are Tesla and Netflix. I trade them pretty much every day. Uh, you see how it got rejected here twice, right? Got rejected here, got rejected here. If this channel if this, this channel gets confirmed, uh, if this cha channel gets confirmed and confirmed, especially the September 10th price action, you could get your measure first move to 304 and then possibly 312. Um, I like this FISV short. Um, you know, I kind of like this FISV short. It had a big, big move, came into support, rallied, got rejected on five day support. Again, that's short term, uh, short term sentiment. If it starts to build below this candle here, roughly about 101, you could get a move to like 97. Uh, which is the next rise in support. Um, IGT looks pretty good for all you non-beta players. Uh, pretty decent option flow uh, came in this week. I forgot exactly which series. You could, you could do your uh, little research there. But uh, if this thing starts, first close here over daily supply, if it starts confirming like 1490, 15, uh, it can go as well. Nice looking chart. Uh, Shopify, we had an excellent trade in a couple of weeks ago to the downside. It looks like it wants to go lower, right? It had this uh, big move down, it rallied, got again, rejected off this five-day moving average, and now it just needs to kind of start confirming this channel here, you know, right? Roughly 335, maybe gets it to 328 if the market comes in very aggressively. Again, maybe get a punch a shot to 314. And um, let me see what else I want to give you guys. Uh, look at this IMMU, uh, again, for all you uh, non-beta lovers. Again, pretty strong move, right? Pretty strong move. Uh, over supply, and this has been nice consolidation here. You can see the volume is decreasing. And again, a lot of you know a lot of new traders. Again, if you're getting bad information, saying, "Well, you know, the volume is dying out. There's no interest." No, this is good. That means the sellers are comfortable, right? The sellers are comfortable. The buyers are comfortable at this level. And if you have no selling pressure after a very big move, it's only a matter of time that the top of this channel you know, gets confirmed and you have your next leg up. So for all you guys who are trading uh, 16 seventeen dollars stocks, keep an eye on this thing. You know, 16, 90, 17, any build above that uh, should start its next leg up. So it's time to be daddy day, uh, daddy daycare, it's two soccer games, softball. Hopefully we'll get some uh, NFL action in between. Guys, I want to wish you guys an absolutely awesome, awesome Sunday. I wish everybody health, happiness, love, smile. It's the only one life, guys. I promise you. It's not about watches and cars and, and private jets. Okay, Just trust me. It's all about family. It's all about love. Uh, stay healthy, and I wish you all the best. I'll see you on the field tomorrow. Take care. Congratulations for putting in the time to take control of your trading. You're one step closer to owning your future and achieving the success you desire. Want daily trade ideas directly from Dan, straight off his personal watch list? Unlock our free PS60 Vault, where you'll get nightly updates on pivot opportunities we're watching for the next day's session. Click the link in the description to get started today.